Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and review the design challenge number four, which was be to design a mobile app splash or launcher page. All right, so basically, I'm just gonna go over, review each submission real quickly, and then choose a winner. Don't worry if you didn't win. Nobody wins anything. These are just for fun. Uh, and also, just uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube and check out designcourse.com. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's the uh, thread. That was created, and uh, real quickly, uh, the logo should be easily identifiable, and it should be the primary element that sticks out. Uh, so you're free to use stock footage from sites like these, uh, CG Textures, DeviantArt, and uh, do not include any type. And aside from featuring the logo, the design should be graphical and fit the feel of a gaming thing. All right, so with that, here's some uh, just uh, references I made. All right, so he asks, is it possible to modify a logo a little bit? That's kind of important for his submission. All right, so the first post right here. I, uh, In terms of simplicity and in terms of making it the primary element that sticks out, that's good. Uh, so in terms of color, there's clear contrast. That's good as well. Uh, in terms of, uh, I guess you could call it maybe originality. I mean, I probably just took some, uh, like a screenshot or something of Tetris and just put it down there. So I would say in those other, those initial areas I mentioned, that's great. It's always, you know, that's the thing a lot of new designers will get wrong is uh, uh, the whole contrast issue or clutter issue where it's not simple, it's hard to distinguish. So I, I would say this is good overall. There's just... In terms of like a wow factor, I guess that's one thing it might be lacking. Although it is uh, a good, you know, it's a splash, it's a launcher screen, so usually it does just feature uh, a logo, so you can't be too hard on this one. So this is good. Um, all right, so we have Quell Christ. Is that Christ? Probably Christ, right? Um, and this one's not bad. It's a little bit more graphical and. Uh, we have a, probably something used from T CG Textures, it looks like, in the background, and then an army soldier guy back here. It's not bad. Uh, when it comes down here to the uh, the actual logo, there's a uh, a gradient on it, which, that's not bad. I would say it kind of clashes right here with this orange and the blue here. Uh, and, I mean, it is it is the primary element that sticks out, especially with the flames that are coming around it. But, uh, yeah, overall, not bad. So... Also imposed it correctly in these previews, so that's good. And over here, something that's kind of the same thing. Uh, I would say the logo might be a little bit too small, uh, but that's okay. Um, not not too much of a big deal there. All right, so ALG, or is it AIG? Probably ALG, right? Uh, portfolio. I, I like this one a lot. It immediately jumped out at me. I He asked, he was the person who asked if he could modify the logo a little bit. And I really like just how this looks it makes it really feel interesting as well as the uh, the difference clouds it looks like this is what this is uh and it's, it kind of just frames it up here it's darker down here so i like it uh i'm gonna move over here to x matrix xxx some type of porn name no, i'm just kidding uh so over here no stock images used so created some sort of effect this is kind of cool reminds you of kind of tetris uh but yeah i uh, i like it i uh, I'm not a big fan so much of drop shadows, but I mean, I kind of understand why I did it because uh, this is a, kind of like a lighter background, a little bit more on the lighter side. So if you took it off, you might it might be hard to see it. Uh, so yeah, overall, not bad. And then we have over here from Quellcrist another third and final entry. Uh, what were the other ones? Yeah, over here, these two. And so this one... I would say I like the other ones better just because this one seems like it makes it feel it's a little bit too much going on. And this clashes, I would say, the, the this burnt orange color and the, and the blue, to, in my opinion. And it's plus the the, the suits of the guys. It kind of just clashes everything in here. So in terms of simplicity, I would say try to work. I, I would say for this specific instance, I, I think the other ones were better of his. All right, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce 
<laughs> the name. Uh, so this one, originality, that's a great idea. Um, I would say in terms of a lot happening here, uh, and in terms of making this, I mean, this is, it is kind of the focal point, but we also equally have this snake down here, which, you know, it looks like there's some photo manipulation that's happening, which is always good. So uniqueness and originality, I like it. Uh, in terms of the snake in the throat, though, and it kind of blending back here, eh, I'd say it kind of looks like that part was drawn on or, or manipulated of some sort. So uh, that's probably one of my only, only discrepancies with it. Uh, otherwise, not bad. And then X matrix over here. Uh, this is similar to the other one, just a different color skew or color theme. And another one, this is pretty simple, but again, like I said, a launcher apps are usually simple. Although this kind of becomes more of the central element rather than the, uh, the logo. And this is sort of the same idea with the skull. And I, uh, this kind of isn't, I mean, I know it sticks out more cause it's more contrast, but, uh, this kind of overtakes that this from being the, the focal point. So you kind of have like a, a competing for eye real estate, I guess you could say between these two and, and the other one as well. Um, and then another one, I would say in terms of making it the prominent image for sure, that's, uh, this is good. And then we had some controversy else could get past it. Uh, divine designs. Uh, this one's kind of hard to see. Well, because kind of made the image small, but, uh, also because I, uh, you know, there's a stroke added to this and then there's also a, outer glow added to it and then on top of the cars behind it you kind of just have like a clashing i guess you could say uh so otherwise not bad and then another one from alg portfolio i personally like the other one better although this is kind of cool this is unique putting the bomb inside of this portion so uh that's definitely cool i would say though the other one in terms of simplicity i just like it so much better it makes it feel just I don't know, more gamery to me, even though this really does look like a game too. It's just in a different sense, I guess you could say. Um, and then down here, uh, this is simple. Uh, everything's flat, like it. Um, this definitely sticks out pretty well. Uh, I'd say I like this one better. Uh, this one, the clouds and everything, everything's white here, kind of takes away. This one sticks out more, in my opinion, would be more effective. And we got watermelons coming over here. <laughs> All right, so Tunzer we have. I uh, I would assume this was an intentional thing just to make it feel like it was one of those old bit style games when you didn't have much resolution. Although it's kind of hard to see with the white brick type things behind it. Uh, and then again, there's a lot happening here. I would like to see this maybe framed a little bit better. Sometimes when you have something overlaid on top of like yeah, a photo like this of some sort is to take like a uh, just... A, a rectangle a dark rectangle maybe make it black and then take the opacity down a little bit and then put this inside or on top of it and that way you could see the game map portion a little bit more because there's a lot happening here and then right here uh be colder uh, a little bit smaller than i would have liked to be because i want to see all this detail i'm not sure if uh this is something he created all these details in here inside i don't know but again, I kind of like this one uh, over here. We have so much happening here that it makes it a little bit hard to focus your eye on one central element like the logo, which is what we wanted. Uh, if you design this by yourself, this is really good, though, <laughs> like the background elements. All right. And then we had one more person submit uh, in a separate thread right here. And in terms of simplicity, uh, we got the long shadow, flat design here. Not bad. I... Uh, I would say though, I uh, it kind of makes everything kind of blend together when you add the palm tree to the top and stuff. In terms, like I said, color is good, contrast is good, simplicity is good. I would just say, in terms of execution, uh, everything kind of just runs together. I guess you could say. So yeah, otherwise good, good job. And so the person I'm gonna choose to win this, and remember, I hate picking winners, but I uh, I said I would do it, so I have to pick a winner. I uh, and also, nobody wins anything as well, so don't get pissed off if you did win. <laughs> uh, I'm going to choose ALG's portfolios, this one right here. I really just like it. Uh, very simple, but it's still, it has texture, has a lot of contrast, and just feels gamerish to me. I like it. Uh, so good job. 
And thanks everyone for submitting your entries. And so look forward to the design challenge number four. All right, I will see you tomorrow with a new video. All right, goodbye.